Welcome back to part two of the iReporter online training seminar. In part one, we covered setting up the blog and some of the setup features, and we also covered uh, the basics of writing a post. So in this part two section, we are going to go into editing posts and some of the advanced features that you can do with the iReporter tool, tool in writing blogs. Okay, so here's where we left off in part one. We went ahead and uh, wrote a blog post, and you can tell it was complete because it says post complete. So I recommend you click on the uh, link there, and that will bring you to your blog where you wrote the post. And there you'll see that's the post that we covered. And uh, if you want to read it in full, you can go to uh, read more. And uh, there is the full blog post. So that was successful. Let's say you take a look at it and you see that um, you want to make some changes to it. So you can go back to the My Blog section. And there's an area called Edit Posts. So what this will do is bring you into an area. And notice that uh, sometimes when you're writing a post, you may not want to go ahead and complete it. You can do a draft, and then those will be noted in here. So let's say I wanted to go in and edit the post that I just did. So I'm going to click on the Edit feature, and it will bring me right back into the post. Now there's the cursor. So let's say that I wanted to uh, add a image to it. Okay, so I'm going to open up a new browser. And, uh, you know, it's interesting as I was writing uh, about the online banking, but I was also referencing uh, monster.com. So I'm going to go to monster.com. I think I just might see if I can grab their logo or an image off of there. So here it is. I am going to uh, right click on this and uh, when you right click, it'll say Save Picture As. I'm going to go ahead and save my picture. And I have an area on my desktop which uh, I save pictures to. And the name of the file is automatically saying Monster Logo. But since the post that I wrote was called Online Banking, I'm going to go ahead and name this image Online Banking. Okay. So I'm going to save it. Remember where I saved it to. And now I'm going to go back to my post. So here it is here. Now when you add an image, you uh, right next to the ABC there's a little picture icon that says insert image. So I'm going to click on that. It'll bring you to a little tool where you can uh, grab images. So when it says upload image, go ahead and click on the browser and uh, it's actually bringing me right into the area where I saved it to. And I'm going to remember that I called it online banking. There's the image right there. Okay. Be sure to click the Upload File button, and uh, you're going to get a little note that says uh, it was uh, successful. And there's my image. So it, there's a thing right under the source. You don't need to worry about that. There's an alt text. Now, alt text is important because it's what we're going to name the image so that the search engine see it. So you guessed it. I'm going to call it Online Banking. Okay. Now, if I wanted to put some borders or something on there, uh, there's different ways that you can do that. I'm going to just keep it free floating and I'm going to click OK. All right, so there it is. Uh, Monster. Now you can uh, you can make changes to it. For instance, I might want to keep it centered or to the right, and there it is. Now, if you had any changes, any edits, you could go ahead and do that. And um, in that case, I'm going to upload. Now, let's say before I finish here, I maybe I want to do a YouTube video or add a video to my blog. So I'm going to open a new browser and I'm going to go to youtube.com. And this is a great way to add some good content and to get content ideas for your blog. So the name of that post, the title was Online Banking. So I'm just going to type in Online Banking into YouTube and see what type of information. Okay, online banking versus Ms. Money. Okay, online banking safety. Because we were really talking about the safety of online banking. So let's see what comes up. No video. Well, well online banking, um, 
security. Okay, so we got some phishing uh, deal going on here. Let's see how long it is. It's a minute. So let's just watch this video and let's see if there's anything there. Now I have my video sound turned off because I'm recording. So at this point, let's just assume that uh, this video is something that we wanted to go ahead and put in. So here's what you would do. I have this uh, right below the video. It's called embedded. And with this, what you want to do is click on it and then right click and copy. And what this is going to do is, uh, and this is looks like a six, 63 minute video. So you know what? I'm just going to back out of that because I think that video might be a little bit too long. Okay, here's one on security. Online banking is perhaps one of the most inconvenient conveniences of our time. All right, well, that one might be interesting. Go ahead and click on this. It's getting some reviews. And I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's the one I want. So I'm going to click on it once, right click, and copy. Now, I have my content. So I'm going to close out of here. And there was where I got my monster. And uh, I happen to be uploading a video on YouTube. I did quite a few up there. And that's where I'm going to be putting this one. Okay, so I'm ready to put the YouTube video into my post. So real important. Right now, note that you are in the design, so you're actually seeing in the design format the way the post is going to look. So uh, right next to it is called HTML. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and now I'm going to go ahead and hit put a space there, and I'm going to go right-click and paste. And there is the embedded YouTube video that I found. So to make sure I did it right, go ahead and click on design, all right? And uh, it's telling me that some of this is secure and non-secure, so I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And look at that. There is the video, and there is the post. So I'm going to clean up a little bit and uh, get rid of some of the space here. And it looks like I added an image. I have my post there, and I have an embedded video. So. Looks like I'm ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and click on update. See how we're doing for time. I'm trying to keep these to 10 minutes or less so that I can post them on YouTube and make them available for everyone. And uh, it's asking me again. This is a new feature. YouTube has added this. It's a security feature. So here we go. Okay, my post is complete. That's the way it's going to look. Let's go to the uh, site itself, make sure we're good with that. I want to note that uh, since my sound is turned off, I didn't have a chance to look at that video, but make sure you want to see uh, the video, uh, make sure it's good. Now note, now that the uh, the post has been added, notice the read more now says read more with video. What we're doing is we're trying to drive this traffic. In this post, this little snippet right here, we have a system where we will syndicate this content over our blog network. And what happens is, is when you click on the read more, it's going to direct that traffic to your to your blog. So, for instance, that that post might be on one of our other blog networks, and or syndicated through some of the directories and search engines, and then the click will link there. So there it is. You know, if you want to play the video, you can just go ahead and click play, and there it is on your blog. Simple as that. And uh, looks like we are good to go. So I'm going to close out of that, and uh, that pretty much covers some of the advanced features that uh, you can find in writing blog posts. Thank you.